Hi. Hello. Mambo. Opo. Hi guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Yes. And today we're going to do something uh, out of the norm actually because I avoid such topics like the plague. Like I avoid, you know. So today we are going to talk about the difference between your 20s and 30s. And I'm not going to talk in a general perspective because these things don't apply to everybody. They don't apply to everybody. They apply to a few people. And right now, because I'm in my mid-30s, well, did I have to say that? Mm. I don't think I have to say that, but I've said it. So I'm in my mid-30s. So I think I'm, I'm, I've, I've gotten used to being in my 30s enough to know what actually happens in your 30s. So yeah, let's just get into the video and um, stay tuned, sit tight, and uh, take a cup of coffee, take a cup of tea, take a soda, take some water. And let's going to, let's get into discussing the difference between my 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 way my twenties and my thirties. The difference. I'm not going to lie to you about oh this is general. There's nothing general in this world, and there never will be something general in this world like that cuts across the entire population or the entire world. Experiences are different for everybody depending on your choices, your culture, your society, where you live. Um, yeah your religion and so many other factors actually influence your life and your experiences so oh, how was it in my 20s how how is it in my 30s that's what we're going to talk about do i prefer any of them no i've tried uh before i did this video because i saw so many famous youtubers doing this video i was like mm, let me do it and i was torn between deciding which one i will pick before i film i was like will i pick that i prefer my 20s no Will I pick if I prefer my 30s? No. So basically, um, none of them, first of all, let me just put this out there. None of these ages is better than the other. Like your 20s are not better than your 30s and your 30s are not better than your 20s. If that makes sense. Like some, you'll have bad experiences in your 20s and you'll have bad experiences in your 30s and you'll have wonderful experiences in your 20s and you'll have wonderful experiences in your 30s. My 20s were full of party. For anybody who knows me, they know that. They were full of party. Wise decision? No. But did I party? Yes. So, the difference between my 20s and 30s in the partying area is that in my 30s, I'm not partying at all. Like, zero. It went from 100 to zero. It didn't go like 190 or 170. It went like 100, zero. Like, and not because of COVID, like, just my life choices and my life decision, I just decided to stop. Like, I just stopped. Like, I woke up one day and I stopped farting. So, is that a good thing? I don't know. That's why it's so difficult to choose between your 20s and your 30s because you also miss that fun. But again, you never suffer from hangovers. So for me, it was like, uh, yeah, in my 20s, I had so much fun. But did I suffer several hangovers? Yes, I suffered several horrifying, horrific hangovers. But in my 30s, is there fun at night? No, there is no fun at night. But am I suffering severe hangovers? No, I'm not suffering severe hangovers. I'm very happy. Um, I get to spend my time well. And I get to uh, spend more time like doing meaningful things. So, you see... It has pros, it has cons in your 20s, and it has pros and it has cons in your 30s. Number two, when it comes to money. Yeah, let's talk about the money as aspect. Now, it's not about whether I have more money right now because I have more expenses. Now, you see, that's why it was so difficult for me to pick one. In my 20s, I had less money, but my expenses were less. In my 30s, I have more money, but my expenses are too much. So is um, you can't really pick. You see, that was the problem. So you may have more money in your 20s, but your expenses are actually less because I, I was still staying at home in my 20s. I, I know many people like uh, move out of the house in their 20s and all that, but I took a really long time in campus. That's a fact. So um, in my, my 20s were more of at home. You know, when you're still in campus, you always live at home. So I had more ma less money, less expenses, 
my thirties I have more money, more expenses, way more expenses. So mm, yeah, you can have the money, but it your expenses also go up. You know, you have to like feed your family, do what, um, yeah, and all those things that people do. And another aspect about money that I'm not going to lie to you is that my priorities changed. You know, we are talking in my perspective because we didn't want to generalize things, but I guess it may count across a lot of people. So your priorities change. How you spend your money in your 20s is not the same way you spend your money in your 30s. For example, I give very little priority to clothing and jewelry and makeup. Yes, it might come as a shock, but I remember when I was in my 20s, I would spend a lot of money on jewelry. Like nowadays, I spend um money on cheap clothing, you know, maybe just for filming and all that, like I go thrift and all that. But I remember I would buy really expensive things when I was in my 20s, just, I don't know. And also, like, uh, the bulk of my money would go to makeup. It hasn't changed, but right now, even if I buy makeup, it's not the bulk of my money. Like, the, the bulk of my money goes to, like, investing or, you know, maintaining my health and such things. And, like, when I was a youth, the bulk of my money would go to partying and go to just makeup, like, making up myself and looking good and, like, partying and all that. So, even your how you spend your money changes completely like it's not this number three what else do people normally talk about a lot you know i hadn't written this down i'm the kind of person who has so much things in my mind that um i tend to forget things if i don't write them down so um another aspect that i know people complain about oh yes looks we cannot fail to talk about looks now i'm the kind of person who used to eat um a lot of bad junk food like i was actually addicted to chocolate since a young age i think like about um can't even remember i guess like since i was two years old or three i was always eating chocolate so that really affected my teeth by the time i was reaching my 30s i had terrible terrible teeth so take care of your health guys it will affect how you look the older you go lucky for me when it comes to like skincare and all that i learned how to take care of my skin at a really young age like i read some book my mom had it was called a vogue vogue yeah how to look young and it was written in the 1950s. So I read it at a really young age. And I actually used to practice that. You know, when you read or, or see something at a really young age, not like teenage, like 13 years. I'm talking like 10 years. When you see something at that kind of young age, like 10, 9 years, it tends to stick in your mind more than when you learn it at 20 years. So when it comes to looks, looks will always fade. It doesn't matter. That's just a reality. The only thing you can do is slow them down. And as the saying goes, the beautiful ones are yet to be born. So, you just have to accept it. Definitely, you'll get wrinkles. Like, in my 20s, I didn't have wrinkles around my eyes. No, I did not. And I also didn't have, like, laugh lines. Like, you see that? You see that? Like this? <laughs> like, laugh lines, if I laugh or smile. But, yeah, you do get them. And, uh... They will show in your thirties whether you want it or not. Especially if you slow. either you frown a lot or you laugh a lot, they will show. Like me, I have lines here. That's why I never use like shiny eyeshadow. By the way, if you have lines, don't use shiny eyeshadow and lines here. So they will start showing whether you want it or not. And um, looks will fade. Gray hairs will come. Unfortunately, if you're the kind of person who genetically like you guys have like premature grain like our family we have premature grain they'll start showing up in your 30s so you'll all all the early signs of aging will start showing up in your 30s depending on how you take care of your skin how you take care of your health what you are ingesting if you are you know me lucky for me I, I might have been partying too much but i was also a health fanatic that is what helped me like my diet my what would be like strict but if you are on the other end of the spectrum, like you're partying too much, you don't give a hoot about your health, my friend. If you're in your 20s, please just relax because you might regret. You might even lose your life. But um, yeah, just looks fade. Just know that they go, they, they bounce. <laughs> Confusion. Let me just talk about um, peer pressure. Yes, peer pressure. Peer pressure is real. So if you're in your 20s and also teenage years, Peer pressure is more likely to affect you than when you're in your thirties. Definitely, right, right now, my peers cannot affect my behavior in any way. But I remember when I was younger, like my peers would affect me. Like they would 
encourage me if they if they want me to go out they'll be like dress up and we go and i will dress up and i will go but right now if you're to call me and i had not planned to go out or to go somewhere even if it's during the day if you're to call me and you're like hello can we meet up today me, 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 and it was not in my plans i'll happily cancel it without feeling anything but i used to feel in my 20s that i'm pressurized to please people like people pleaser people pleaser i have no pressure to please anyone right now like think what you mean but i'm living my life and i'm going on with my life so i guess you become wiser if that is a wise decision not to please people after all wisdom is also relative one man's wisdom is another man's foolishness so <laughs> Yeah, so um, that is something I can tell you that you do become wiser, in my opinion, that's wise. Uh, you make your own decisions rationally without influence from others. And like when you're in your 20s, depending on also the person, as I said, this doesn't cut across people. I may have been foolish. You may have been wise in your 20s or you may be into your 20s and you are wise. So yeah, that changes decision making, peer pressure. You become wiser, you make better decisions. No. Pre- am i more at peace in my 20s than in my 30s or no was i in, more at peace in my 20s than i am in my 30s no i am more at peace in my 30s than i was in my 20s why because in your 30s you're more settled like i don't know how to explain this but um because you know yourself better than in your 20s you know in your 20s people tell you tend to tell you especially when you're living with people and you're also um like People are like building a foundation for you. They're expecting this of you. And the fact that people are expecting things from you makes very many decisions come your way because, or very many advice, yes, comes your way. Person A will advise you on this and person B will advise you something different on the same issue. And person C advises you something different on the same issue. So you're again being bombarded with a lot of like advice, being bombarded with a lot of things like uh, buy a car, build a house, buy, get a job, move out. You know, you're getting bombarded with so many different things from so many different quarters. But when you're in your 30s, because now you know yourself, um, you're more at peace. You know, when you're being bombarded with so many decisions, so many advice, you're not at peace because your mind is always racing. Like, how will I do? If I disappoint, if I take the decision of person A, will I disappoint person B? If I take the decision of person B, will I disappoint person A? You know, and all, and you know, person A and B can be maybe person A is your family, person B is your fiance, person C is your friends. So you have so many decisions, you're not at peace because you're trying to please everybody. But when you're in your 30s, you're actually more at peace because you're your own man. You've become, you've grown up, you know, like your decisions, you're the decision maker and you're the advice giver yourself. You give yourself your own advice. So... That is also something that changes in your 30s. I guess I prefer my 30s more than my 20s because apart from partying, it's way better. It's more peaceful. Yeah, and I saw somebody commented on someone's video that your 20s are better than your... No, the 30s are the new 20s because... Yeah, the 30s are the new 20s with money, yes. Another thing that changes is energy levels. I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't know if it's just me. Your energy levels go down not because i added weight i'm not like i didn't add any weight i was just like this in my 20s Whew. hallelujah i was just like this in my 20s and i did not add any weight but my energy levels man man i'm telling you if i'm to even party for example go for a party even if i'm taking mocktails or juice or whatever or energy drinks i can guarantee you that i'll be the first person to leave that party because my energy levels especially if like the party is for 20 something year olds I cannot, I cannot, I don't have the same energy I had in my 20s. I literally always sit down to do stuff or do one thing and then sit. Or if I do a lot of stuff, it will affect me. Like my energy levels definitely are not the same as when I was in my 20s. So I don't know if it's only me, but um, yeah. In fact, I stopped exercising. <laughs> like legit, I stopped. I used to exercise all my childhood. I remember since as far back as I can remember, like maybe when I was 10 years old, I always used to exercise and all the way through high school, all the way through campus, I would exercise. But nowadays, man, maybe I exercise once in three months. Yeah. So energy levels down. 
uh, that is not a lie. So that's not something I like in my parties. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And probably if I still used to drink, I can guarantee you, I would tell you that hangovers are worse in your parties for sure. That's a fact. Um, because if your energy levels are really bad, it means also you you get hangovers, bad ones. Uh, what else? Um, I guess you also st- uh, have to like start. Um, what I noticed is something else about your parties is that you crave to stop being lonely. I mean, like, um, what is it called? People get dogs. People get kids. Like me, I got a child. Other people get dogs. They get cats. They get what? It means like they're trying to fill a void somewhere. Um, but I guess it also happens like when you're in your twenties. But um, yeah. I don't know if there's anything else that you would like to know maybe about um 20s being in your 30s maybe versus your 20s you can comment down below and also if you're in your 30s and you're feeling that there's a burning 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 thing that i missed that really changes oh okay for me my body didn't change but i guess some people do slow down their metabolism and like add weight but for me i have constantly been the same weight literally like when i go on the weighing scale even when I was pregnant, I just added weight during the pregnancy. After one month, I was like back to that, like, what is it called? That um, range. I normally fluctuate like in the same, like, two. Maybe you just add one or two kgs, or deduct one or two kgs. But I'm normally just that weight range. Since I was twenty five years, like, it does not change. Like, it's so weird. But basically, um. Yeah, some people, I guess, normally add weight, but that wasn't me, luckily. Thank you, God. But, uh, uh, yeah, I guess that's another thing, maybe. But if in case you, you're also in your 30s, as I was saying, and there's something that, you know, I've definitely missed, like, this happens, like, this happens when you're in your 30s and does not happen when you're in your 20s, comment down below. And if you're in your 20s and you're offended by this video, I'm so sorry. And, um... If you're in your 20s and you're also like, wow, does this really happen when you reach 30? You can also comment down below. I'm sure to answer you in another video. And guys, this is Christmas. Okay, guys, this is Christmas season. And I am so happy to be like here with you guys during this season. This is 2020. I'm so glad with all that has been going on in the world, with the COVID and all. We are so happy and glad to have reached this point in the year. And uh, let's just be grateful. And um uh, don't forget to subscribe. I normally post three times a week. Even during this vlogmas season, I don't know how to add an extra seriously to my schedule. I don't know how to because I feel that that's too much pressure on me. So I post three times a week, every week. And thank you so much, guys. I probably have reached 100 videos by now. Yeah, though my subscribers have not reached 100. So weird. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the bell notification. And I'll see you in my next video. Ciao. Ciao.